If you wish to reduce the number of runs in the design that's been generated, you can use step 5 of the DOE wizard to find a subset of the runs that have high D efficiency. D efficiency compares the variances and covariances of the estimated coefficients to that of the best possible design you could do given the number of runs that you can afford. To select a subset of the runs, I'm going to start by pressing the button labeled Step 5. This will open up a special dialog box in which I can specify to the wizard how many runs I need. Down near the bottom left corner, you'll see an indication that there are 18 coefficients in the model. That means I need 18 runs just to estimate the model. Adding a few runs to estimate the experimental error, I've decided to request a total of 24 runs. Now the best way to have the wizard find those 24 runs is probably to use this backward algorithm. With a backward algorithm, it will start with 81 runs and begin eliminating runs one at a time always retaining a subset of the runs that has a high level of de-efficiency. Once it gets down to 24 runs, it'll then apply an exchange algorithm. In an exchange algorithm, it'll take all pairs of runs, one that's been selected, one that's not been selected, and see if switching the position of those runs could further improve the design. When it can't find any more pairs to switch, it'll stop and that will be the final set of runs that I'm going to use. I'll go ahead and press the button labeled select runs using backward algorithm and it will start counting down the runs. Eventually it will get down to 24 runs, run the exchange algorithm, and finally highlight in red for me the runs that it wants me to do. Once it's finished I'll press OK and return to the main wizard window. At the same time, if I look at the data book, you'll see that it's reduced the number of runs down to 24, and those are the final 24 runs that will form my experiment.